All right, here we are going to check if the given function is even, odd, or neither. Remember, if a function is even, then f of negative x must be equal to f of x. The negative inside doesn't matter. And if the function is odd, then f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. You see, the negative can be factored to the outside. All right, let's get started with the first one. Let's go ahead and plug in negative x into the function f. Well, this means I will have to put negative x into here and here. So we get 2 to the negative x minus 2 to this negative, but the x is that, which is negative x like this. Well, we can work this out. This right here is 2 to the negative x, and then this is minus 2 to the positive x. Here, let's look at the original and compare. Originally, it was 2 to the x going first, and then minus 2 to the negative x. But right now, we have 2 to the negative x going first, and then minus 2 to the x. What can we do if the order of subtraction is switched? Well, we can switch back, but we just have to negate the result. So in fact, this right here is equal to this going first, minus that. We can switch the order of subtraction, but just negate the result like this. As you can see, this is exactly the original, and now we have the negative on the outside, so this is negative f of x. f of negative x, we have the negative on the outside, and then the original. Therefore, this function is odd. Right? Now for this one, we plug in negative x into g, so g of negative x, this is just 2 to the negative x, but we have a plus, and we have 2 to the negative, negative x. Work this out, this is just 2 to the negative x plus 2 to the x. Uh, this is just a different order from the original, and this is just a addition. The order doesn't matter, I can switch back. So this right here is just 2 to the x plus 2 to the negative x. This is the same as the original. So this is just g of x. So we see g of negative x is equal to g of x, therefore this function is even. And then we are done.